said, let's do it. So the story of Boom Pods, for those who, did, uh, who don't know, started off with a uh, one speaker in 2012. I still remember the day Lee scribbled a drawing out in, in I think it was a napkin or a tissue, and he said, you know what, bro? That's my favorite pod shape. As everybody who knows now, Lee loves the pod shape. Uh, and I said, you know what, Lee? I've never seen anything like that. So he said, Prem, now go and get it made. Uh, I was like, okay, but, you know, electronics is different, but, you know, coming from a homeware background, we were not afraid of uh, changes, challenges, uh, so we knew about good design. Prem, and thank you guys. This is my first time in the Philippines. It's Lee's first time as well. And we've just flown in from London. We arrived last night, so I'm a little bit jet lagged. So excuse me if I'm, I'm incoherent. Um, it's been a remarkable story since we started Boom Pods in 2012. Uh, I think we're now selling in 30, 40 countries now, all around the world, in South America, North America, Middle East, Europe, of course, where we live. And we're so pleased and proud to be here in the Philippines. And I look forward to meeting lots of you later and to visiting some stores later. Um, it's a fine line in our business between success and failure, good design and bad design, convention and innovation. Believing and dreaming. And so, time to hand on to our guru and design director, Mr. Lee Dennison. Got a nasty done, though, nice done. Um, but they don't leave me with much, but uh, if anyone's actually interested in the design, I can talk a little bit about why the pod and boom pods was the, uh, the name. Why boom pods? Pod, I designed pods ever since I left university, and I'm not going to tell you when, but uh, I went from that very good university to uh, then design for homeworks. Brent mentioned that briefly, but we like to think that we have a synergy of homeware and technology and my second biggest passion in design, which is outdoor living. I live in a great part of the UK where I go mountains, I go swimming, I go running, and it's a fusion of that homeware meets outdoors. And the idea is that a boom pod can be great in your home, and it can be great in your rucksack, it can be great on your bike. It's basically something from anywhere, everywhere, and that's, that's the basic function to the boom pod. And um, other than that, we like to sort of, I don't know, we talked about the functionality, the if you look at our products up close, or come see me, I'll talk better one to one probably, um, about the, uh, the way things work. They, they have some clever little ideas behind each product. They're not just a normal pair of headphones, not just a speaker, they have a quirk. So let's maybe come see me later or have a look at the products that are here somewhere, I'm not sure where. And, and thanks, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, thank you so much. Round of applause, please, Prem, David, and Lee for coming all the way here to Manila. Now, Prem, you were saying that you went back. You came here in 2000. As I said earlier today, too. I mean, Philippines. Uh, you all love your music. Uh, you're all very artistic, very talented. And for us to bring quality, good design at a very affordable price. I mean, we're very happy to bring it to someone. To, to a country that appreciates uh, music, and and for us, Asia is also a very important part in our uh, in our map. David talked a bit about Europe. Uh, we're making great inroads in Central South America, including North America, and uh, even in many Asian countries today, like Philippines. We've seen a big jump from where we were two years ago till today. Looking forward to more boom pods here in the future in Manila and of course the rest of the Philippines. Again, round of applause, please, to our friends from Boom Pod. Thank you so much for joining us over here. Thank you. Please do take your seats. In the meantime,